Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to the last level of the first episode of Duke Nukem 1. I'm still Nakaroth. I have Fataku still here with me. Hello. That was wordy. Yeah, we are actually in the, the bubble dome city of, you know, the head evil man himself, Dr. Proton. Thinking about it a bit more, Proton actually doesn't sound too evil of a name. Uh, maybe like Negaton or some other made up bullshit probably would have sounded a little bit better than. Proton. Something like uh, Dr. Hitler. Something like that. Nah, it's a bit too much, I would assume. Like, how about Dr. Mangala? There we go. Yeah, he was at least a doctor. So. But yeah, they finally, they pull out all the stops. They send all the dinky robots and Mode 7 that you grow to love on the other levels. They just send them out full force. It is it is a, a force to be laughed at. Yeah, it seems like he's uh, pulling out all the stops. He's really loaded this place up with boxes and balloons. He's he's crazy Gideon. He's got everything ready to go for I don't know an invasion. I w I really honestly wish I had any idea what the fuck his plan was with he got lava. Hey, he's got a waterfall of fucking lava, and I just, it looks like I'm out in fucking space right now. I'm not even sure. Like I know before I said Detroit, but I don't think the skyline of Detroit is clear. So, I'm, I'm completely in the dark. Also, what I don't get is, like, you'd think the property value here would be pretty terrible. This is supposed to be the hoity-toity place to live, right? You know, Dr. Proton's bubble city. And it's got lava, and, like, everything's broken down, and robots attacking everyone. It doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like high-value real estate to me. Well, I, I think it's stretching to say it's a city. It's more of... I guess a layer. A layer would probably work. A it's, fortress. Yeah, with miniature dick helicopters. I don't even want to fuck with those. Those things are assholes. But yeah, um, the overall setup of this level can be a bit confusing the first time through. It's actually fairly simple to navigate if you actually know where you're going. And, you know, fuck you, helicopter. Guess what? I can go down here. But it's, it's actually pretty easy to navigate. You know, you don't need, like... 20 keys, you don't need, you know, stupid non-shortcuts through spiky rebars and, you know, mazes of madness. Just shooting everything. So, level design slowly improving. Uh, it's kind of degrading, actually. Like, there, there, there's nothing really that sets this level apart as really being the last level, outside of the note of the beginning saying, Hey, welcome to the last level. I don't even... Why would, why would Dr. Proton leave a note saying, Hey, this is, uh, this is my evil bubble fortress. Glad you made it, I guess. It's horrible noise. Yeah, I want to know why he thinks that, um... Well, gee, uh, he's defeated all my defenses thus far. I'll just throw more of the same at him. That'll work out. It is a very limited budget. He wasn't sure if the invasion would be really accepted by the public. So you can't really, like, pull out all the stops in the first game. So his Machiavellian plot is to take over the world, but on the cheap? Uh, very discounted, yes. And actually, you know, I would say that, oh, it's just because this is the shareware? No. Episode 2, 3, and 4 are actually... I think it only goes up to 3. But, yeah, it would be another 33 levels of, you know, brick shooting. There's not really any more new enemies. There's really not any new weapons. It's just... The same pallets, the same enemies. It's just... Just Duke Nukem versus Dr. Dollar Store. Yeah, pretty much. 22 more levels. Yeah, which, you know, I, I'd say if uh, if any of you ever get the chance, you know, you, you, can go, you can go download this, you can 
run DOS box, do whatever you want, and you'll probably get your fill. I just wanted to, you know, let some of you out there see it's not all about, you know, being 3D. It's not all about being, you know, forever. Because as, as you can tell, some of those things, they don't, they're not forever. They, they have, uh, they have an expiration date. And this game in particular is, uh, it's a, it's a relic. I'll say that. I will say that, you know, Duke Nukem 2 is leaps and bounds better in some cases. And then kind of steps backwards in other cases, as, uh, as we'll be seeing. But, you know, they, they, they did what they could with a very ripped off product. They ripped it off the best they could from other better games. Um, no, just easily, readily available games. Like Mega Man PC, or, you know, Turrican. Or, I think there was like one other one, but it slips my mind. Either way, it's time to fight uh, Dr. Proton in uh, what I'm sure will be the very dastardly... Sled. <laughs> this is his battle sled. Yeah, he brought his ski mask, and he's he's got a pretty complex pattern. That's what those rascal scooters are going to look like in the future. Yep. Oh, look at that. He's already dead. Fuck you. Uh, look at him go. He's going to the moon. See, this is a cutscene. Not really. <laughs> that that is uh, that's Doctor Proton heading to his secret moon base. I I defeated you, and now he's gonna do his uh, uh, just yeah. He's a coward. He's dead. I killed him. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, join me for Duke Nukem 2. It's a lot better than this. Don't even worry about that. It's garbage. <laughs>